guys and welcome back to Taking Flight. If you're new here, my name is Ethan Gregerson. I'm a 17 year old student pilot in Austin, Texas, and I'm on a mission to document my journey to help others take their first steps into aviation. But since I haven't been out flying lately because of the weather, I decided it'd be fun to make a video about what gear I take with me to the skies. So without further ado, let's take a look at everything I have in my flight bag and why I have it in there. All right, so first I'm gonna go through everything that's on the outside of the bag, and then I'm gonna transition to everything that's inside the zippers. So on the front here, uh, I actually got this bag from Sport and they had the option to put your name and a little plane on the front which I thought was really cool so I put my name and then a small general aviation like Piper so uh, not hidden in the pockets quite yet but that's what's on the front then if we transition over to the left side I actually have a few tags I like to collect these remove before flight tags um, I actually have this one from Firefly Aerospace I knew someone whose mom worked at Firefly which is pretty cool uh, I just have one that I bought off Amazon initially and then I actually have one that came with my ADS-B uh, from Crew Dog Electronics uh, So I just threw that on there as well, which that was pretty cool Then this is obviously for a water bottle I don't have one in there right now But typically before I go fly I stick a water bottle in there Then I have a pencil for whatever reason it never hurts to have a pencil <laughs> And then the last thing on this side is I have a fuel sump um, This is a fuel sump I found on Amazon. It's pretty cheap and it's actually really cool It has um, obviously the part you stick into the plane to get your fuel sample it's also got a screwdriver on the bottom, which you never know when you need a screwdriver. And uh, everything on it is removable. It also, I don't know if you can see it, it actually shows what color the different grades of fuel are, which is actually really handy. Uh, you should have that memorized, but just in case, it's always good to double check yourself. Then moving on to the back, this is where a lot of my gear resides. First things first, I have a plotter. This is good for cross countries, obviously. Um, you use this mainly in your written. You actually use this when you're doing your flight planning and stuff, so. Leave that right there. I have my checklist for the plane I fly, which is the Cessna 172. Then I have my folder, which has my E6B in it. As you can see here, uh, you really only need to use this on your written. I actually have an E6B app on my phone, which works a lot better, but it, since you can't use that on your written, that's why I have that. And then the last thing I have in that pocket is this. This is my kneeboard. If I open it up, you'll see I have another kneeboard in here. This is what I use when I don't have my iPad. This is the iPad kneeboard, uh, which is really handy. I'm going to show you how that works in a second, but I usually just throw that in there as well. And then this kneeboard uh, has a few features. This is the part that goes around your knee. Your iPad, you will usually sit here. And then I also have my uh, pen and a birth certificate in there. So that's everything on this side. Let's go around to the other side and uh, that'll be it for the exterior. So I have a Sharpie. Never use this ever. I just have it in there because it kind of fits right there. And then I have a flashlight. That's really handy for a uh, night pre-flight. And uh, you know, obviously there's some dark spots in an airplane. Always good to have a flashlight. Always carry that with you. And the last thing uh, on the outside of my flight bag would actually be my ADS-B. So I use, uh, like I said earlier, the Crew Dog Electronics. It looks like this. I actually have my suction cups in the flight bag. It mounts right onto the glare shield. And um, I have this little thing strapped onto it as a power bank because it needs external power. It doesn't power by batteries. Uh, and that's just plugged in right there. So now I'm actually going to move all this over to my bed and we'll go through everything else on the inside of my flight bag. So in this first little pocket right here, this is probably one of the only empty pockets in my entire flight bag. It's actually what I do to empty my pockets. Uh, before I'm flying. So I usually take my keys and my wallet and my phone and stick it in here. Um, it's just about the size of a pocket, so it's actually meant for that, I'm pretty sure. So this front pocket right here is actually pretty empty most of the time, except for when I'm actually flying. Next up, we have this pocket right here. This pocket actually doesn't have much either. I carry this, which has some suction cups for my ADS-B, and I also have a pen in here and carry some other little cables, but nothing more than that. That's definitely a pocket I will be using more in the future as I collect more gear. So then in this big pocket, I actually have my headset and my logbook, which Shouldn't really come as a surprise. This is the headset I have, it's the ASA HS1. As you can see, I actually have all sorts of adapters in there to record my cockpit audio. I have my passport in here, which I'm not gonna show. Then I have my pilot logbook, which I'll show you here. Um, this is where I log my flight hours. I actually copied this over to the four flight logbook um, because I do run a four flight, but this is always good to have a paper copy. Legally, you need, one, you need to have one too. The last thing in this pocket would be my power bank. This actually goes through to the last pocket, which I'm gonna show you here in a second. Um, that charges my iPad when I need it. Uh, it's super big. This charges my iPad three or four times before I need to recharge this, which is awesome. So let's take a look at this last pocket here. There's only one thing in it. This is called the iPad bag, so it only makes sense to put the iPad in that pocket. Uh, I have the iPad mini five. I actually have this case on it that has the Apple Pencil as well. So I usually have this running four flight on my kneeboard. And uh, it's really nice because this Apple Pencil just kind of pops right out. Uh, when you need it, when you're trying to copy down a clearance. You do use that a lot as a pilot, and uh, for a flight, nothing really beats it. Uh, really handy tool to have in the cockpit. 
That is everything in my flight bag, not a lot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I have a lot of new content coming out about the private pilot series and more random videos about flight bags, discovery flights and everything. So stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified. Anyways, once again, I really do appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you in the skies. <laughs>